Welcome to W201. My name's David Morgan. I've tutored on this course since it first started. I'm sure you'll find it interesting. I certainly have. One of the things about these areas of law, uh, as if you did uh, W200 last uh, year, you'll have seen, law isn't static. It changes and it's constantly in the news. As well as welcoming you to the course, I thought it might be useful to say something about our studies, the resources that are available to you, and how to make the most effective use of your time. In addition to your manual and your textbooks, as you know if you've done 200, you've got access to the law reports, to online tutorials and other material uh, via the computer. I'll send you additional uh, handouts as the course goes on. But one of the best things that you can do is keep in touch with what's going on in the news. Constitutional law, certainly that's uh, true. And as we build up to the debate about Britain's future in Europe, uh, we talk about uh, human rights law, about whether we should have a British Bill of Rights. And criminal law, again, it's staple of the newspapers. As well as our tutorials, I intend to produce some short videos like this covering key points from each tutorial. So if you can't make a tutorial, I'll summarise uh, points about the forthcoming reading, the TMAs just done and the TMA to come. But if you can make uh, the tutorials, it is an excellent opportunity to discuss raise questions and share experiences from students who, like you, uh, are doing this without the uh, advantages of being able to go to the uh, junior common room afterwards and, and talk about it. Using the computer, uh, it's possible to get in touch in many ways, whether we're talking about Skype or Facebook um, uh, or whatever. But if you can make it each tutorial, it'll give you a chance to do this uh, discussion, but the videos will be there as a short reminder of what's been covered. It'll help you to preview this course, look at the subjects that you're going to be dealing with and when they come up. Drawing a map of the journey ahead will help to make the connections which will be the foundation for your revision later in the year. This course deals with the traditional subjects of constitutional law, the rules that govern the use of power and the making of, um, of law. From there we'll look at controlling power through administrative law and that will um, concentrate on judicial review, a very important area and again one that keeps coming up in the, the news. And then we'll look at criminal law. You're not going to cover everything in criminal law because that could take centuries. Um, there are various estimates as to how many different criminal offences there are in existence. Nobody can agree. Um, there are still offences hundreds of years old that are, are still there. You're going to concentrate on a limited number of uh, key offences, from murder to manslaughter, uh, through to offences against the person, sexual offences, uh, property offences, and fraud and so on. But do keep in mind that this is a limited number of offences that you're going to be looking at and you'll be looking at them in detail. The best way to learn is to be constantly making connections between what you've already learnt, the law in the real world, and as I said there's lots in the news and will be over the coming months. Immerse yourself. Now I don't mean by that get those uh, books out from 5 until 11 o'clock uh, at night, um, just reading the, the manuals. You know, what a luxury that would be. But thinking about applying and discussing with friends and fellow students. Well, I look forward to uh, meeting you hopefully in the next few days, if not when you can uh, make one of the tutorials. Uh, if not, we can be in contact in many other ways. So I look forward to meeting you, if that's possible, and to working with you as this course progresses.